Alright, well, I took some pictures of the inside of the projector so you guys can pick that out later. But right now, I'm just going to put the inside. First, you got to pull this to get a little slack because otherwise you're going to get boned on it. And this right here is a DTS reader that's only on some of our projectors because we have some really shitty projectors in this theater. This is the ones that take like the disc to read. Most theaters have Dolby Digital surround sound, which is on these little things right here. That's like the sound part of the film, which on these is blank since it's just a leader. So, all right. I'll lead you step by step through. Right here, this first sprocket is here just to hold this so it can go through the film gate. And this is the film gate, which I have to take off and clean because they get really gross which hopefully this one is so you guys can see it. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little bit of purple stuff, but sometimes it's just caked on there. It's just part of the film. I don't know. It's just purpley. because otherwise it'll just pull straight through and that's never any good. And it just damages the film that way. There we go. And it's even. So, I'm going to take it down to this one. And this is just another sprocket that helps hold the film. And you have to pull this and it's supposed to go just past that little silver thing. That was a little too far. There we go. And right here, this is a an LED sound reader as well, just in case it's like a backup for the DTS, if you don't get DTS discs. And make sure the sound gate's closed. And this part right here, this little arm, make sure that the sound matches up with the picture. So if like this thing's all the way down, then you're gonna see people's lips moving and it's not gonna sync up. It's gonna be right in the middle, otherwise it's not gonna work. And you close the last sprocket, put it through this bottom part, which just feels the motion presence and it makes the film run. Close this, come back around here, and just switch this platter to rewind, and pull it. And then this part right here gets about like an inch or so. The take-up carriage gets about an inch or so away from the other sprockets. Then you're good to go. And this movie's good to start in, uh, I don't know, when does it start, Jeremy? Uh, the number five? Yeah, I don't know. Wait, here it is. Yeah, like 440, so we have a bunch of time. Yeah, plenty. We're gonna just stick up. Let's turn this thing off. Alright.